my fellow freeze dryers. Today we are going to reconstitute some chili that I packaged in March of 2020. So this is four years old. So who knows what we're going to get on inside. Let's get it open and see. My earlier videos. Smells all right, I think. Chili powdery. Let's see if I can get it all into the bowl. It's a big pot, I know that. All right. Looks like I had a maybe a 300 cc O2 absorber. Let's put some water in that. That was just cold water because I want to bring this up to temperature on the stove here. Mm. All right, let's put that on medium high. And start. We're just gonna cook this up. So I'll see you in a minute. Well, a little bit longer than a minute. Get this nice and piping hot. I'll be right back. Okay, so we simmered that for about 10 minutes while I made my boil in the bag rice. Let's give that one more stir. Now, when I open the bag, it kind of smelled dusty. That's the best way I can describe it. I was think, trying to think, how do you, am I going to describe this? And quite frankly, now that I've cooked it up, it still smells like that dusty. That's the only thing I can think of. Like when you're dusting a dry dust and you get dust in the air. So let's see how it tastes. On observations... I think it lost some of its color because this was all, I'm pretty sure I would have made a red chili. Tomatoes seem all right. They're kind of a, just a pale color. I love chili on rice, so that's, that's why I'm eating it this way. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. The hamburger has come back very well. I'll put a little bit more on there. Let's see how that bean comes back. Mm -hmm. Nice and tender. I was kind of worried about that. For my pouch oatmeal type things, the beans tend to be a little bit dry in the center, but since we cooked these for, well, simmered it for 10 minutes, that took care of that. Tomato. Good flavor. Not the brightest, reddest tomato anymore, though. So I wonder why, in a sealed Mylar pouch, 
obviously no sunlight gets to it. Seven mil thick. Why you lose the red color from your chili? I'll have to go look, go back and look at the original video. Maybe I didn't add a lot of tomato sauce to this. I know I added two cans of uh, whole tomatoes, and maybe I didn't put any tomato sauce or in it or anything. I think I put some tomato paste. I'm sure. But yeah, it tastes pretty good. If I were to say it tastes fresh off the stove, I'd be lying, and I ain't gonna lie to you. It just tastes, I don't know, tastes like it smells a little bit. It's not off-putting, it's not rancid for sure. It's just taste. I don't want to say stale because it's not stale. beef has come back beautifully but it smells kind of dusty <laughs> so I'm gonna have to say that taste carries on to the taste buds I'm just trying to give you guys the most clearest picture I don't want to build your hopes up and think you're gonna get at least with the recipe I used <laughs> Uh, that fresh taste in chili because it doesn't taste like fresh made chili. It tastes like rehydrated chili. That's the best way to put it. There's a slight difference. But it tastes good. I'm enjoying it. That's for sure. Just I'm kind of disappointed in the color. I think I I haven't done too many meals in that big gallon bags. And I think maybe the 300 cc was enough to keep the stuff from going rancid. But I think I would have put I should have put two. O2 absorbers in that one gallon bag and maybe that would have kept the freshness to it a little bit better I think it just don't taste fresh that's the only way I can put it but other than that it tastes delicious everything's come back very well the hamburgers come back very well I think this was Ground sirloin, actually. The, the whole tomatoes that I cut in quarters has come back well, but it's, like I say, they're just not a bright red anymore. But, this has been in storage in a Mylar bag in a cardboard box stored away for four years. No special conditions or anything. I mean, it's in my house, so it's temperature controlled to an extent because during this uh, winter I keep it at uh, 70 and about during the summer, I might keep it about 75. So I'm going to say, in an emergency situation, this would be a feast. Even in a camping, backpacking situation this is very good it pro probably if you're a backpacker or a camper you're not looking for the long long-term storage 
So the closer you get to the date that you made it, probably would be the fresher it would taste. I wouldn't hesitate to do this again. I think I'd add a little bit more tomato sauce to that. Make it more redder. I remember that when I add my beans, I always add the juice to the beans. And kind of, that's the color of this chili, is the color of the juice of the beans. Which leads me to believe that I did not put any tomato sauce in this. And a lot of people will tell you that tomato sauce don't belong in chili anyway. Well, yeah, it came back beautifully. So we're going to give this a thumbs up. But it ain't like fresh. Well, I'm happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned some from the video. And I hope you like and subscribe and stay tuned for more video videos from John and Bibbs. We polished that off. And it was pretty good. It filled the spot, that's for sure. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you next time.